Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Venture Lighting 1000 Watt Probe Start Metal Halide Deluxe Coated Light Bulb. This particular bulb was bought at a Habitat for Humanity Restore in Phoenix, Arizona for $10, which I think that was very cheap if you ask me. Now before I show you the information about the bulb, or the etch, the reason why I say it's Deluxe Coated because I gave this bulb a test about 15 minutes ago, and when I when it first started up, it gave off a little bit of pink, which I think that was quite unique. So there is a little bit of phosphor coating on this bulb. But there's not too much phosphor, so it doesn't make it like, you know, warm white. But anyway, let's take a good look at the etch now. So as you can see, the coating definitely helps the camera focus in on the text of the etch as well. So I gotta say, that's really good. So you can definitely see the etch right now. So as you can see, it is made by Venture Lighting. And um, there's its phone number as well, which I don't want to, you know, say it out loud just for personal reasons. So as you can see, it says um, MS. I'm not sure what the S means. I'm not sure if this is actually Pulse Start, but this is actually Probe Start just because it uses the M47 ballast. You can see the wides right there in the middle. It's a 1000 watt. The C means that it's coated. And the BU, so this is a base up burn position type, plus or minus 15 degrees. So it's going to look like this when it's um, operation. So anyways, we'll get back to the etch real quick. Just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how to burn this type of bulb if it's a base up burn position type. So you can see that it's made in the USA, which is actually a surprise because... I'm not sure if I see any Venture Lighting bulbs made in China or any other countries made in Asia or anything like that. So as you can see, letter R means that if this bulb breaks, it'll continue to operate, which would not be good at all. And there's the ballast type right there on the bottom right, and it's the M47. And this is a enclosed rated lamp because there's no shield around the arc tube. So that's that with the, the etch. Nothing else, so might as well look at the construction right now. You can see some black stuff on the bottom. I'm not sure if that's silver getter to maintain the vacuum or anything like that. Those are only used on high pressure sodium lamps mainly. I've seen a few metal halide lamps have silver getter on the bottom of the bulb, but I am not too sure. There's the resistor or fuse. Sorry for the little reflection on, on from the window. So... You can see it now because I just moved it near my bed. So you can see this giant pole here and the plastic right there. That's to help, you know, keep the heat mostly in the body of the bulb. And um, there's the, um, the stem. And we do have a copper base with a glass insulator, which is very unique. Now, I made this. I made a video of this bulb in a collection video back in July of this year, but I haven't made a video of the bulb. The, I haven't made the video of this bulb, of course. I haven't made this bulb, you know, in a separate video, so. So, anyways, you can kind of see the arc tube if I point it at an angle. There, you can see the little probe circuit right there. Not sure if I can see the whole arc tube, but if I actually point it at the window, you definitely can see the arc tube. So I'm going to do that real quick. So, so there it is. It's quite long, as you can see. So, yeah, it's actually very long. It's like about mm, two and a half inches long, or something like that. There's the tip. This is a BT-56, by the way, so... This is a 15 inch bulb, which is very, very large. So, you can see the tip to support the whole arc tube assembly. And um, overall, this is a very big bulb and very awesome bulb, by the way. So anyways, um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of like specifications about this particular metal halide bulb before I turn it on. So this bulb produces a staggering 105,000 lumens. So it's a little weaker than my Sunlight 1000 watt Probe Start Metal Halide bulb that I made back in October. So I'm going to zoom in on it. There it is right there. You can see a little mercury ball right there because I have used it and it's rolling around in the R2. 
And um, you can see all of my other high intensity bulbs right there, which is really cool. You can see some 175s and 250s and, um, and a clear 175 watt mercury vapor bulb and a brand new 250 watt metal halide bulb made by Philips. So that's cool. All right, and this bulb has an average life of 12,000 hours, so that is pretty good, but it's not as much as like 20,000 or like 30,000 hours. But anyway, um, this bulb has a color temperature of 3,500K or neutral white and is not dimmable. If this bulb was dimmable, that would be cool because this bulb is very, very bright, as you can tell, just by the lumen output. But anyway, um... I'm not sure if I have any more specifications about this bulb. Well, of course, the R2 operates at 50 pounds per square inch, which is pretty high. That's like about over 300,000 pascals, which is like the unit of pressure. And of course, the pressure increases and then the, the light output increases over time. So anyway, um, we are going to give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. Now I do have this fixture here and I made this back in October and the reason why it's upside down is because it's a base up burn position because I don't want to damage the arc tube in any particular way to like, you know, make it rupture or anything like that. So I'm doing this for safety. And um, there's the capacitor right there made by Aerovox, if I remember correctly, and some wood to support it. There's the ballast made by Plusrite. And it's wired for 120 volts, and this ballast draws 9 amps when it's on 120 volts. If it's on 480, it only draws like about 5 amps. And the reason why there's a plate of, uh, like a paper plate full of pennies is because, um, it's all because of the fact that this bulb puts, it gives off more weight. And, um, if I actually didn't have the plate of pennies on there, the, um, the whole fixture would tip over and the bulb would break which would not be good because the ballast is quite heavy. So I'm just basically trying to support the whole assembly itself. But anyway, I am going to give this bulb a whirl and we are going to see how it starts up and see what colors it gives off. And yes, this is kind of goofy. I'm actually using a knee to support the bulb so I can actually screw it in. And I actually have to screw it in left from this type of um, position because it's a base up and it's actually screwing in. So sorry if it's taking a little bit. So there it is. Now you can see that the fixture is not falling down because this bulb gives off a little bit more weight and um, the ballast is quite heavy and of course the pennies add extra weight to it. So enough of me talking. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera right by the ballast so we can get a good view of the whole bulb itself. So, not sure of how I'm going to put the ballast. Oh, this is a perfect spot. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the camera like this, so we can get a whole good view of the whole bulb itself. And um, hopefully when the bulb turns on, you can kind of see the arc stream as well, of when the halides are ionizing and all that. But anyway, I'm going to put my welding goggles on. And now we are going to give this bulb a whirl in three, Two, one.
and the bulb is at full brightness and it is ridiculously bright in here as you can tell it lights up this room quite nicely in neutral white and um and of course headphone users beware that the ballast was actually on a metal table as you can see right there so Headphone users, just be warned that I actually put the ballast on a metal table. That's why it caused it to make that loud noise. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice Venture Lighting 1000 Watt Pro Start Metal Halide Deluxe Coated Light Bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.